Next up, we have a question from Josh Friedman, and this is via email. Um, he said, I've finally saved up enough money to shop for my first pro-level kit, but I'm wondering what exactly makes a kit pro-level. It seems that $1,200 and up gets you about the same level of kit that many pros use, and I'm wondering if spending double or triple that amount is actually worth it. Can a $1,200 drum set really compete with a $5,000 drum set? It sure seems like they can. I'm interested in Pearl and and Tama, by the way. So this is a really interesting question. It's a good question too. There's definitely a point of, I don't want to say diminishing returns when it comes to how much money you spend on a kit. You know, you're you're on the money though, pun intended, with that $1,200 mark, right? Right around $1,200, let's just talk Pearl and Tama. That gets you in the range of the Session Studio Select, fantastic kit from Pearl, and then a Tama Star Classic, which is like a legendary kit from Tama. And... Yes, you can spend double or triple that amount, quadruple that amount if you want to go, I don't know, highest end DW Collector Series or SQ2, you know, fully customed out. But there's this weird, I, I wish I knew like the name for what this is or, or what to call it. But let me give you the best example I have here. In the camera world, this happens. You know, you can buy a $100 camera lens. It's decent. You can buy a $300 camera lens, and it's much better. You can buy a five, six, seven hundred dollar camera lens, and it's way better, worth your money. But once you get above that seven hundred dollar mark, you know the cameras then become nine hundred, eleven hundred, fourteen hundred, twenty five hundred, thirty five hundred, seventy five hundred. Each jump from those price points, seven hundred to nine hundred, nine hundred to eleven hundred. Each one of those price points that you jump. What you're really paying for, despite the amount of money that, that you have to pay extra, you're actually only jumping in quality of the gear itself by like 5%. So you're paying 20 or 30 or 40 or 50% more money for a three, four, five, six, seven, eight percent increase in quality of gear. This happens with cars too, right? Like you can think of a lot of examples of this, like a $50,000 car is fantastic. A $100,000 car is not twice as fantastic, right? It's not twice as good. You don't get double the features. It's not twice as fast. So there's like this to point, there's this point of diminishing returns uh, when you get to the high end of any type of tech or any type of gear. And so when it comes to drum sets, this is kind of how I look at it. Like that $1,200 mark, that's about how much it costs retail to get what we would consider a pro level drum set. Now that's certainly debatable. You know, maybe there's a $900 kit out there or an $800 kit that you would consider pro level. Pro, I look at it as just, you can make money with this, right? But once you get over that $1,000 mark, let's say, you know, when you spend two thousand, three, four, five, six, seven thousand, yes, the kits are nicer. They absolutely are. I mean, if they weren't, I don't know what you're you're paying for. They're definitely nicer. More attention to detail, um, way more color finish options, more customization options, and all of that could be personally very important to you. But as far as the quality of the sound itself, it's going to only improve by a very small margin as you spend double and triple your money. And this is just the case with, with again, it's like any tech, any gear at all sort of works this way. So it really is a matter of finding the sweet spot, which for you might be at the bottom end of that pro level kit. That might be 1200 bucks. Um, it just depends on what you value. If you value customization, then yes, you do have to pay for that because $1,200 drum sets are not gonna be offered in any color that you can imagine. Let's be honest, they're probably offered in like five different finishes and maybe one or two wood options and that's it. But if you have this, this really perfect idea in your head of the kit that you want where it's got the custom finish the custom hardware a specific type of wood grain orientation with different plies that are layered in a certain way custom dimensions across the board yeah you're gonna have to pay for that for sure but if your primary goal in buying this new kit is function if it's something that you want to make money with and that you want to use um, just this to sort of carry your career along if that's the case, then I say don't spend more money than you have to. Buy something that suits your needs for that $1,200 mark. Um, and then, you know, I really like having that goal kit always like like on a pedestal, like one day I'm going to get this one. Um, because to be honest, it, it as you get further into your career, you will eventually attain a lot of the things 
that you want to attain. And it's just life itself, not necessarily your career. As you get older, as you make more money, as you, I don't know, just become more stable in life with your job or whatever your career might be, you're going to eventually get a lot of those things that you had looked forward to for so long. And so it's really nice to have that one far off distant idea, like maybe one day I would just spend $10,000 on a kit. I really like keeping that thing alive. So so yeah, if it's not totally urgent and if it's not just absolutely killing you to not have that dream kit, I would go with the slightly cheaper one, man, and just um, continue to build that long-term custom kit in your mind because there will come a day when you're ready to pull the trigger on that. But if you're on the fence right now and it's just not like, it's not like pulling you in with this crazy gravity to spend to spend all this money on this insane kit, then I wouldn't do it. I, I would go I would go with that thousand to fifteen hundred dollar mark. Stick in that range. You'll be super happy, man. There are some truly stunning kits in that price range. Um, and again, if you spent double the money, you're not getting double the kit. It's not twice the quality. It's it's a much smaller margin than that. So hopefully that makes sense, Josh. This is a great question, man. Very cool. Thank you for watching this clip from the Orlando Drummer Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more lessons like this one, um, master classes, interviews, lesson packs, individual chops and grooves, everything you can imagine, I have all of that waiting for you on OrlandoDrummer.com. It is an online drum school in the style of Netflix. Free seven-day trial at the link in the description. Check it out.